Welcome to the PDF Electric and Supply Company video series, troubleshooting the GE Series 9030 PLC system. The GE Fanuc Series 9030 PLC system has the largest installed base of all GE PLCs. Therefore, we felt it was important to assist users with some troubleshooting procedures. Our 33 years of expertise allows us to provide a concise process for identifying problems, as well as procedures which will help you recover from a factory down situation. There's an old saying, if you don't know where you're going, then any road will take you there. Our plan is to identify the PLC problems and then systematically provide you orderly solutions. The very first step to understanding the GE Series 90 30 PLC status is to inspect the four LEDs on the front of the power supply. When the green LED power LED is on, it indicates that all power in and out of the power supply appears to be functional. If this LED is off, install a battery on the front of your CPU to maintain the program and then simply replace the power supply. The green OK LED indicates the CPU appears to pass its power up test. If this LED is off, then replace your CPU. There is most likely a hardware fault. The green run LED indicates that the CPU is in run mode and is solving program logic properly. Your problem most likely lies with the field devices and not the PLC system. If this LED is off, we will walk you through troubleshooting later in this video. Finally, the red battery LED should be off, which indicates that your battery is good. If the red LED is on, remove the bottom door labeled battery on the power supply. Carefully replace the battery while the PLC is powered up. In many cases, there are two connectors, one connected for the new battery and one for the current installed battery. Install the new battery before removing the old battery. Do not power down your PL system or you will most likely lose your program during the battery change out process. The most common failure of the GE Series 9030 is the run LED is off, which generally indicates that an incident has forced the CPU out of run mode. Connect your programming unit to the RS-485 serial port on the power supply and then navigate to the fault tables in your programming software. There are two basic fault tables, I.O. and CPU. There you will find time and date stamp faults that have caused your system to exit run mode. In many cases, it will identify rack and slot positions of a failed module. Once you have fixed the issue creating the fault, clear the fault table so that any additional faults will be logged at next power up. Continue this process until your Series 9030 PLC system is back up and running. We hope you found this video helpful in troubleshooting your GE Series 9030 PLC system. Please visit our website, pdfsupply.com, for any required PLC parts or to view other technical support videos in our library.